What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. It is a crazy windy day here in Las Vegas. Uh, hopefully we can get our ride here and get over to SEMA soon because being in the shade over here, I am freezing. My so uh, we're just here waiting at the ballet. But today should be a sweet day because today is obviously the first official day of SEMA and I know everybody that I've been looking forward to meeting and getting in touch with is in town and will be there. So we're going to be meeting up with a lot of cool people today and I look forward to bringing you guys that footage. We really appreciate it. Have a great day. <laughs> you too. All right, so we got a sweet ride up from the parking lot. It is a nightmare to find parking out here. They've closed down all the parking lots, which is like, doesn't make sense, but is what it is. We are here making our way to the convention center. So we've made it here into what I believe is the South Hall. Now, if you guys see the enormity of this building behind me and this entire hall from what I have seen is wheels and tires, mostly tires. And it's insane the amount of tire companies that Number one, I've never heard of, but uh, that have brought out some of the big boys. So, I mean, we're talking heavy equipment tires, small tires, forklift tires, and of course, obviously, 42 inch truck tires. Now, the cool thing about the truck community and going to the truck shows and truck meets and all that is, well, you start to kind of re establish relationships. If you guys remember the truck over here in the Turo tire booth is the one that actually beat me out at Extreme Auto Fest. So, glad to see him at SEMA as well. First, we need to make my way over to my truck because we need to roll my windows down to show off the Roadwire interior because, well, Roadwire is a sponsor and that is something that they require. Now, luckily, I thought ahead and I packed a spare set of keys for my truck. It's already come in handy once, but it's definitely going to come in handy right now because I have no clue where my keys are, nor do I think if I asked anybody to find them, they would find them in any kind of reasonable time. So, I'm definitely glad that I brought the spare set with me. So, let's go get my windows rolled down and show off my sweet Roadwire interior. The sweet thing is, we didn't end up with some giant decal on the side of the truck. They uh, they only ended up putting one on the rear window, which eh, we got to roll the windows down. So now we have no decals on the truck. So one of my goals with coming to see, I'm bringing you guys this footage, is not to show the crazy, biggest, baddest, flashiest trucks. Uh, you know, we see those all the time. My goal is to bring you something cool and unique. And it's not to say that I don't respect the flashy builds, because I really do. Especially having built a SEMA truck this year, uh, I can completely appreciate everything that goes into the every little bit of detail uh, on those trucks. But to me, I like cool, I like unique, I like stuff that you have never seen before. And that's kind of my goal uh, in bringing you guys this footage. And I've got a truck that we're gonna go look at in a minute that to me is probably one of the coolest ones here just on the premise of what it is. You ever just get the feeling you're somewhere you don't belong? Outside is open to the public. The only thing that is closed off to badge members only is all of the interior stuff, which there are some cool things in there, but it's mainly, I guess, people in the trade uh, that we really care about. That's where the manufacturers are. But to me, all of the coolest shit is showcased outside. So for future sequels, if any of you guys want to come, I would say definitely come into Las Vegas, whether or not you have a pass, because you will be allowed to explore all of this outside area, which is absolutely huge. Especially if you're in the truck community, most of the trucks are outside. So I would definitely recommend you guys planning a trip for uh, future years at SEMA. So as you guys know, the custom grill on my truck is built by DB Customs. This one is actually another one of DB Customs grills. And if you order them the way they offer them on the website, it has these two sidebars. Which if you notice on my truck, my truck does not. Um, I contacted DB and had them make a custom version of this grill where it eliminated this and just kind of had a background where the wording was. And to me, it was a much cleaner setup, but DB makes some really awesome grills, and I'm glad to have them uh, be a part of the build. For the longest time, you know, we all follow a lot of truck builds on Instagram and there's some that stand out more than others. And to me, one of my favorite builds that I've been following is this truck right behind me. It is the only short bed dually mega cab GMC out there, like, bar none. It is the only one in existence. This is the owner, Brian. 
Brian, appreciate meeting you, brother. Yeah, We've been talking a lot on Instagram. Yeah. I've been following this beautiful build since you, uh, before it was a dually. Now that's the one thing that a lot of people don't understand. This truck was not bought as a dually. He converted everything over and feel free to talk a little more about it because I can only imagine the amount of bodywork, framework, axle swapping that went into this truck. Yeah, so basically um, we first started off as a single rear wheel. Um, last year it was in the Cognito booth as just a mega cab with a full size or full length six and a half foot short bed. And this year we decided um, there's no GMC mega cab Denali dually so we decided to convert the uh, short bed into a dually bed everybody thinks it's uh it's an eight foot bed that's been chopped up and uh shortened but it's the original six and a half foot bed that came with the truck from gm that's awesome so who did all the body work uh jimmy johnson from elite customs well they did a killer job i mean before you walked up here i've kind of been looking over everything and Everything body work wise is flawless. You would never know this did not come like this from a factory. And to me, that's what always scares me about body work. I mean, I've seen a lot of people add on fenders, a lot of, you know, especially on the dually world, and you can tell at some point it starts to crack and you see the seam. This truck is absolutely flawless. And speaking of body work, that third brake light setup is absolutely insane. I love that. Yeah, it's a, it's a Baja 30 inch uh, LED light. That's it's awesome. Got, uh, it has the amber brake lights, but I can flip the switch and it turns into a uh, mega light bar. Nice. Let's go around the outside of the truck first and then we'll take a look at the, what the mega cap does to the interior of the GMC. This year we went with the uh, American Force 26 inch dually wheels. These are brand new for 2019. Um, we also did a uh, Kelderman four link air suspension in the rear. In the front, we went with the Proformance coilover conversion um, with the King coilovers. How's the ride on the front? Because I was actually yeah. looking at the performance kit prior to having bulletproof filled Mia coilover kit. Yeah, you know, the, the torsion bar setup from Cognito rides pretty damn good for torsion bar setup. Right. But everybody was saying, you know, you, once you go to coilovers, you're gonna notice a huge difference in sure shit. They're right, it rides phenomenal. Coilovers are definitely oh, the way to go. I'll never yeah, build another legit. truck without them. Yep, so, yeah, exactly. And so I noticed you got a rack in the back. I do have a rack in the back. Now, out of curiosity, is it a spare tire mount? What is? What uh, is it? That is actually what's going to be for a set of Wet Sounds Rev 10. With the weight of the speakers, we need to put a little strut bar on it to keep it up. Gotcha. So. So after uh, SEMA. <laughs> so after, well, yeah, after SEMA, it'll be fully functional. Awesome. And. Uh, It'll be pretty sick. All right, so in terms of fitting the body panels, what exactly did you use to make the Mega Cat portion? So that Jimmy actually used the uh, door skin to graft onto the section right here, and then the rest up on top, he built by hand. Um, he stretched the frame, chopped the frame completely in half and stretched it 11 inches and added 13 inches to the cab. I think we've all been waiting to see. You guys want to check out the interior? What the Mega Cab looks like from the inside. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> Let's do it. So the seats for this particular vehicle we use out of a uh, the, uh, second row out of a Tahoe. Okay. So the seats actually fold down and fold up and recline. Nice. So you get added space where if you want your passengers to be able to relax even better, they can right. recline the seats a little bit more. Well, and then just the amount of leg room that's added. Oh, and Yeah. Don't mind my SEMA mess. Well, just look at it. Take a look at all the extra space you get in there by integrating the Mega Cab. You know, obviously I'm a GM guy, but I've always been envious of the Ram trucks for having the Mega Cab because that extra room, it adds a ton. And obviously I know I've told you guys in past videos, my favorite dually trucks have always been the, the Ram Mega Cab short bed dualies. It just has that, I don't know why, there's just something sexy about a short bed dually. And so to see a GM variant of that, I think we need to call up GM and help them start producing these things. Yeah. This is absolutely insane. Pretty sick if they did that. And now you're giving me a whole lot of ideas <laughs> <laughs> on what so, to do. So what you're saying is next year I'm gonna see your, uh, your brand new truck 
mega cab? I mean, it, it's gonna be tough to say no to that now. I mean, now, <laughs> now that I see it, I'm blown away. It looks, it looks killer. I think we're gonna have to do something, okay. well, something crazy so. for next year. I think so too. Well, it sounds like you got the right connection. I do. You let me know when you're ready. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Maybe in the future, guys. I don't know. We'll see. Brian, I appreciate you Definitely. giving us a tour around. Thank you. So I don't know if you guys see all the smoke behind me, but the Hoonigans are right behind where my truck is in its booth. And unfortunately, I had to put my windows down to show off the road wire interior. I can only imagine how filthy that white piping is gonna get at some point. So obviously you guys know I'm running the Ultimate Air Ride setup in my rear, uh, but I really do envy trucks like this that are running the full front and rear Ultimate Air Ride setup, especially this one because he's got a lot of custom stuff on it that Ultimate Air Ride doesn't really offer off the shelf. Uh, this is Thomas here, Thomas is the owner of this beautiful truck. And believe it or not, this is the first time, well, second time he's really seen the truck. Yesterday was the first time you saw the truck? Yeah, yesterday was the first time I've seen it. Like I said, I've been over in Dubai for the last five months or so, you know, so last time, last time first time I got to see it, so. That's awesome. Well, this thing turned out amazing. Uh, they did a beautiful job building it. I don't know uh, who picked the color scheme everything. I'm guessing that was you. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I've been running the same color scheme on the last truck I built, too. So. Nice. So I just kind of stuck with it on this. I mean, black and red is pretty pretty good combination. Oh, it, lo it looks yeah, absolutely it beautiful. It's, it's definitely one of the most standout sure. trucks here. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I mean, give us a little overview of all the stuff that's under the truck. Yeah, man. So uh, up the front, you know, uh, of course, my bodyguard bumpers booth running bodyguard front and rear and uh, HIS uh, LED lighting on the, all the way around the truck, awesome. fog lights, fog lights and everything there. So up front we got the uh, two-tone powder-coated uh, monster hooks and uh, one with the uh, roll support grill. But down low we're doing the uh, hydraulic assist steering. I did all that through uh, bodyguard or uh, ultimate ride as well. So You haven't even driven it, huh? I didn't get to drive it yet, no. That's crazy. So yeah. That's the joys of SEMA. That's it, man. So I mean, it's all... First time getting to see it, and it'll be the first time getting to drive it Friday night, so. There you go. Well, talk us to us a little bit about your suspension. Yeah, man, so uh, we went ahead and did the uh, dual shocks up front, front end, front end rear, matter of fact, and um, we did, went ahead with the, the uh, overlays on the track bars, front and rear. Uh, Doug over at Ultimate Air Ride did that custom for me. So that's one thing you guys will notice. I don't have these face plates on any of my uh, my four link bars in the rear. And seeing this, I am definitely envious because this actually dresses up the kit immensely. So we may have to uh, we have to get something made for mine. Yeah. So other than that, man, I mean, we went with the uh, I mean, on the wheels and tires. I mean, we went with the uh, 26 by 16 specialty forge. I kind of went a different route on the wheels and tires. You know, I mean, everyone's running American Force. I mean, I got away from that and right. went with Specialty Forge on that. So they've been a big help in the build, as well as Fury. Fury's also been a big help in the build as well. So. That's awesome. So one other thing that you did different than me is your compressor setup. You went belt driven. You went belt driven compressor, yes. Which obviously is a, it's a more expensive option, but you only need one compressor, and the, it, it's just insanely quiet. Yeah, it is, man. I, I went with that, you know, I've always heard the other compressors being real loud. And uh, so I went ahead and went with the uh, belt German compressor, and it's the first time I ever ran one. So I mean, I'm pretty anxious to see how that is. And I mean, the, the fill up time is, is insanely fast. So it's, it's going to be a good time to see that and everything. That's awesome. Now, one other standout thing about your build is that beautiful exhaust setup that you have because I have not seen anything like it and it's making my gears turn on a lot of different so, yeah, ideas. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I got in contact with uh, MDRP and um, we wanted to do something unique on this build you know, as far as the exhaust system, you know what I mean? The majority of the uh, exhaust systems you see are they're all dumped over the axle. So I got in contact with MBRP, so they sent me this whole exhaust system, they sponsored me. And uh, so Ultimate Air Ride came up with the whole design, doing the, the dual split, and then the dual beside the uh, uh, tow hitch here. So I it's mean, awesome, it, man. It, it is definitely a unique look exhaust. Yeah, I mean, axle dumps, they've just become so popular. Yeah. So to, to see something different like this, I think it's, uh, it's cool, man. I, I absolutely love Everything is done on this truck, and that, that exhaust setup. I mean, it's all it's, it's a two-piece setup. So you got the one piece coming all the way from the downpipe, and then one connection in between, and that's it. The rest of it's all welded together, and all nice manufactured there. So.
happening right oh now. Oh my, is this the infamous? Is, is this finally happening MDDP, right now? MDDP, Mark Dakota, Diesel Performance. Absolutely. What's up, brother? How are you doing today? It is a pleasure to finally meet you. I mean, I mean, he's probably one of the biggest guys <laughs> in the Instagram tuning truck performance world because he's also got a YouTube channel, but this guy gives away so much free knowledge and information on his Instagram page. That's right, like, it's, it's true. It's incredible. I mean, the amount of work he puts in in making videos just to give you guys the knowledge of doing pretty much anything you can do, especially to a Duramax, uh, let alone the performance parts that he makes, the R&D that he's putting into the parts that he builds. Uh, this guy does a lot of work behind the scenes that a lot of people don't see and appreciate. And he dealt with me on my 45 phone calls we for did. technical <laughs> support to get my out, truck though. tuned. So I definitely appreciate this guy. It's really cool to finally meet him. Like I said, guys, this is why I came to SEMA. The whole kerfuffle we dealt with with the truck, it was one thing, but I'm really here to, to meet new people or meet the people that we've talked to for years because I think uh, it's been since the first truck, right? It's been at yeah. least three years or so that we, we've been talking. At least three or four, absolutely. Yeah, so it's cool that we're finally in a spot where all of us can get together. and, and The really, three of us, this is the first time. It is the first, first time. time. We yeah. got to get a picture. It's pretty dope. We need to get a picture. We got to get a picture. Absolutely. So we can document that it actually happened. No one will believe video, it. Video it, it it's true, it's true, it's true. It's <laughs> mddperformance.com. There you don't go. type in MDDP, you might pop up with something you don't want to see. But <laughs> you never know. I've never tried it, but you can try it. <laughs> Alright guys, so with that we're going to wrap up this video. I know today has been a... It's... Wait a minute, what are you doing, dude? You can't end your video. I'm ending my video. I specifically walked over here to give myself the vlog zone, bro. Well, I'm in the vlogging zone, though. You know. As always, guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button now. I feel like hopefully the curse of the BBB build is over. At least now we're really trying to enjoy ourselves. So don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out all the trucks that we have featured in today's video. Um, all the dudes that we have met so far have been really awesome people, and this whole experience of SEMA so far has been great. Also, don't forget to check out WorkForWorldApparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. And roll that outro. You don't get it. Get out of here, Mark. Get over here, buddy. Get out. We we need the newest guy. So as always, everybody, what thanks for watching. Here? I need I need a good roll the outro, bro. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Roll the outro. Damn.